Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be opening some Yu-Gi-Oh card packs with my girlfriend. I've got two different cards here. I've got the Speed Duel Attack of the Deep ones, with Seto Kaiba on the front, and I've got the Yu-Gi-Oh, what was that, Arena of Lost Souls one here. I've got six packets in total, went and spent all my money, so, mm. And uh, yes, today me and my girlfriend will be opening some, so she has free, I have free, and uh, I don't actually know the card pricing, so I don't know if any of this is good or not. I'll have, like, in editing. We got them from Waterstones. Yeah, we just, <laughs> we just went to the shop, we went to town after college. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to open the one with Seto Kaiba first, because I like him. And I don't want to damage any of the cards, because if I, if I have value, then uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, so what did I get? Moray, the, or Moray of Greed. What was that? A spell card? Yeah, it's a spell card. Dweller of the Depths, which is a dragon. Um, small, big wave, small wave. Big wave, small wave. Don't know what that is. And Warrior Elimination. Destroy all the warriors and field. That's actually okay. that's actually kind of cool. Um, I got get? Mystic Horseman. If yeah. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Focused. Um, oh, you get so got... much cooler stuff than me. <laughs> I got Harpy's pet dragon. Wait. Yeah, the camera's there. So. There we go. No, wait. It's, it's, there we it's, go. It's, it's backwards, unfortunately, because I have a camera, so... Um, I've got Brave Keeper's Ambush. We're going to have to price check these. I'll, I'll have to put the price up and post on the editing, so you guys will see it all like somewhere on the and screen. And then Armored Zombie. I'm going to tell you the price of every single card. From what it looks like, there's not a single proper shiny one yet. So I yeah. doubt they have any value, which is kind of sad. I think I can make my money back with this. I highly doubt it, though. You never okay. know. Now onto the Arena of the Souls one I've got. It's only Yugi. Ugh, it's so boring. So, first one. Great Mammoth of Goldfine. There we go. He's a, uh, he's a if zombie. If this card's a shiny one, does it actually shine? Yeah, it has some like actual shine to it. Oh, nice. So I've got then King of the Skull Servants. It doesn't really have a shine to it, does it? It does. Oh, it has a slight shine to it. it. has a slight film over it. Mine, yeah. mine don't really have that. So. Mm. That's King of the Skull Servants. I've got Conscript here. It's another spell card. Um, Zombie Tiger here. And Rabid Horseman. Um, the horseman? I got the Snake here. And then Block Attack. And then... I have that on um, that my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh game. My final was called... Uh, okay. Link battles, I think. And then Wicked Breaking Flamberge Bow. Um, I, I don't know what I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> However, to pronounce that, correct us in the comments. <laughs> Unfortunately, on our last packs already, we did have many, so the video wasn't gonna last long. But actually, to make it extend a bit, because I don't want a really short video, what we're actually gonna do is gonna have a price check in video. Oh, also, I'd like have it on editing and post. Oh, we've got a repeat already. That's a small spider on the floor. Like a little tiny thing. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Fear. Oh. Okay. I got, well, likely I'm sad, another Harpy's pet dragon. Um, That's decent. Queen's Knight. That's a new one. Uh, Magicians Unite. That's a spell card. And then another another repeat of a spell card, the Wicked Breaking Flamberg. So we got another one of those. Oh, yes. I actually don't know how you check the rarity of these things. These are all first edition cards as well. I don't know if that's good or not. Oh my god, but, uh, I've opened all of mine. I've opened all mine as well, so... Wait, I've no, got... there's... I've... Oh, wait, we bought six, sorry. Yeah, we bought six. So, um, I've got Half Shot Spell Card here. I've got the Possessed Dark Soul. We've got a lot of spell cards. We did. Uh, I actually think we've got more spell cards and trap cards than we did. No. Oh, we've got Fusion Monster. Two yeah. Fusion Monsters. I didn't realise we had Fusion Monsters. Um, a Veil of Darkness. Don't know what that does. And a skull servant, a level one zombie. It's really shit. Um, what's your phone? My phone? Oh, yeah. I don't have it with me right Can now. You go grab your phone. Oh, oh wait, okay. it's right here, actually. We'll check the prices. Yeah, so we'll check prices for all of this. So we'll we'll have to uh, figure out which one's which. Cause unfortunately, I've mumbled all mine together, so I don't know which one's what. But um. No, it doesn't matter. Safari. So. What cards have we got? Queen's Knight. Let me find Queen's Knight. Queen's Ooh, Knight. Harpy's Pet of the Dragon is worth one dollar. One dollar fifty-two cents. That's something like a pound in England. And we've got two of those, right? Yes. So we've got... That's worth two pounds. What else do we get? Oh, unless that's a certain version of it that we don't have. No, it's a common. Yeah. Um, two Harpy's Dragons. Do we have a King of the Skull Servants by chance? Yep, I have King a of the Skull Servants. Oh, that's a... um. Let's see that one. That's just oh, is that that? I don't think that's a super rare one. I think it's the common one. If because it says it's a super rare and it's worth four dollars, 
Is it super rare? But I don't, I don't know if super rares look different because I've never done this before, so. It says first edition. <sighs> Let me click on it quick, see what it's got for me. See what it's like. Is it this, right? Yeah. No different. The question mark is on the def, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've, um... Oh, that's four pounds. That's four pound there. Um, what else have we got? This is like an estimate, by the way, as well. Yeah, because we, we don't know the work. exact exchange rates because of everything that's been going down with um, the Rona. So, what else do we have here? Anything cool looking? Um, hmm, Call of the Haunted. Did I just mention that one? Call of the Haunted? Yeah, I don't think we have that. Oh, we don't. Fortunately, that mm. that would have been another like pound fifty. Sword of Dragon Soul, do we have that? Sword of Dragon Soul. Yeah. Uh, no, oh, I don't. No, I thought we did. No, we've got two Wicked Breaking Flamebergs there. Skull Servant, that's um, unfortunately really cheap. Uh, it is what was that? That's thirty two cents. So mm. that's like ten p. <laughs> He's a ten p card. That's pretty cool. Um. What else have we got here? Rabbit Horseman, I got that one there. How much are you worth? I bet you're worth like 20 cents, 13 cents, so that's like 5p. Queen's, Queen's Knight is also 13 cents. Okay. Um, half Shut anyway? Or Zombie Tiger? Half Horseman. Shut, I actually haven't seen Half Shut this entire time. Zombie Tiger is 8 cents. Okay, it's got 8 cents there. So wait, what was that? The F1 you're on about. What one? The half, what was it? Half, half shot. shot. Half shot is 10 cents. So that's like 5p. Um, do we have the dragon zombie? What's, what was Possessed Dark Soul? I haven't seen that one yet. Possessed Dark Soul? Oh, he's one of the cheapest ones. He is 7 cents. Magicians Unite is 6 cents. Um, Mystic Horseman. Mm -hmm. uh, how much is he? He's 10 cents. Oh, minimal money here. Yeah, those two flame bags we got are both eight cents each. Okay. Um, the rest of them, um, okay, let's check these top few then. Do we have Tomb of the Pharaoh? I don't think we did. Mm, no. Not yet, Dweller of the Deaths. Dweller of the Deaths, no, I don't think he's worth anything. Well, we don't have that, that. We'd, oh, we would even call for the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Wait, what? Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. The, the Red Eye Dragons and there's Blue Eyes Dragons from my knowledge. Um, Call of the Haunted? No, we don't. Uh, Meteor Dragon B, we don't have that. So unfortunately, it looks like they're the only ones who have anything. Yeah. Okay, because after the, um, after Skull Servant, they really start to drop off to getting to like 20 to 10 cents, even lower, unfortunately. Yeah. You know what? We have got a Waterstone student card now, so we're gonna get, we can get minimal discount. A five percent discount each time. Pretty sure we can earn points as well, which allow us to uh like buy them with those points. And um, we're gonna see how many Yu-Gi-Oh cards so wait, are we these can get all from worth like five cents. Um, I don't know. We'll we'll have to put it all together and then see how much we can sell it for on eBay. Yeah, and then we'll put um, a running total on the video. Yeah, at the end of the video, there will just be a still image or something, and I'll have the uh, mm. total price that we got from six packs. Since it cost us, was it ten pound twenty p? So we'll have to see if we made our money back or at least close to broke even. Yeah. I think we didn't, to be honest. I, well, I don't think. I think I know we didn't, unless we got something really good. Do we got King of the Skull Servants, right? Well, yeah, that will get us a good. Where's the king? Yeah, King of the Skull Servants. That's a solid four pound, so that's made that's made back almost half. Yeah. The rest of the odd bits and pieces would probably make up a good another pound and a half. So we made probably broke about half the cash that we spent. Yeah. I'm gonna sell each of these shitty cards that are worth like wait one p actually for like ten p, because I I spent money on this. I spent I took money out of my own pocket, surprise surprise, and spent this. So I want to make some, not even some of the pack, but I'm gonna sell all these cards to buy more packs and make more videos in the future. But um, yeah, I think that's all we've got for now, unfortunately. Actually, I just wrote something. So you know the big, small, big wave, small wave stuff and mm. Bell of Darkness. You know how we didn't see it in here? Yeah. It's because the Seto Kaiba pack is completely separate. 
okay. for the rest of them. So I'm going to actually quickly check on Seto Kaiba's one. So, um, attack from the deep price guide, then TCG player. Yeah. Big small, big ah, oh, this pack's really shit price wise. That's what it now isn't. I haven't done it correctly, right? So, yeah, big brand. <coughs> See if I recognize anything from here. The Moray of Greed, him, mm. he's worth 80 cents. So about 50p. Um, Are they all quite. Small values. Yeah, they have a few that go up into the four pound, five pound area, but mainly stay under a pound. Okay. Big waste small is as ten p. Um, what else did we get? Uh, I don't think there's anything else really from that. Conscript maybe, but it's conscript from that one. I'm not seeing conscript, so I might miss it. Mm. Yeah, but we didn't get anything good from the set of one. I think so. Basically. The card with the most value we got from this pack was King of the Skulls. So. Alongside the two Harpy Dragons, I think they were worth like a pound each. So that's another two pounds. We made six pounds from just those uh, the free top ping once. I'll put the exact oil amount obviously on the actual video, but yeah. um Yeah, it's gonna be slightly shorter than ten minutes, unfortunately. It doesn't mean much for me, but it's watch time, so um, yeah, I need the watch time. I need never was it three thousand minutes in watch time, and then I can get paid. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe. You know what to do, and I shall see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.